Hey guys, and welcome to another Color Along video. This one is from my Monsters Pack, which is available as a PDF download on my website, rjhampson.com. And this little guy is called Dental Hygiene. And it's good to know that monsters in this day and age still care about their teeth. Although this man's teeth do look a little bit bedraggled. Nonetheless, here he is cleaning his teeth. Oh, I was going to colour this guy using some Wahoo lacquers. So let's go. I'm going to kick off with a pastel blue. I'm thinking of doing a pastel blue through a darker, so like a fresh blue, and then into a, like a light violet for this part of his head. If a monster's doing dental hygiene, then he probably needs to be, be like a nice fresh blue. So dental hygiene's not really a name, is it? It's more like a description of what he's doing. He has a very fine nose, this monster. I almost feel like I should be putting some big, thick black glasses on him. Or I'm swapping from my pastel blue to a fresh blue. Not sure what I'm going to do with his teeth. Do I make them nice and white and crisp and clean? Or do I um, make them sort of half rotted? I'm tempted to make them half rotted. He is a monster after all. Yellowish, yellowish and greenish tinges need to make an appearance, I think. All right, I need a blue. Let's have a look. I've got a fresh blue, a pastel blue, maybe a cerulean blue. Finish off with a cerulean blue. I'm just coming back in with that fresh blue to try and blend that so there's not a line. Or less of a line. While I've got this fresh blue out, I might play with his legs a little. I'm back to the cerulean. And the fresh blue. And the pastel blue. Well, I think maybe his arms should do the same. I might even go more on the lighter blue for his arms. And they're springing in a little subtle darker blue, the fresh blue. All right, I'm going to go into some violets. Start with the dark maybe at the top and go down to light. Just play with these scales a little bit. Let's just play with one and see how we go. And I'm going to dark violet white to blend that with. And try the other way. Put this down first and then throw the other one on top. Or I'm going to get the next level of tiles to be pastel violet. Tiles, scales, I think they're scales aren't they? All right, yeah, pastel violet. Maybe we need to blend it back up a bit to that dark violet white. Right. 
at the top and I'm going to go with a dark blush for the bottom of the next ones. Let's see what that does. I don't like the brightness of that pastel violet, so I'm going to bring that into his nose. So that was dark blush, sorry, and this is the pastel violet, which I'm going to use to create a bit of a shadow effect. Thinking that I might do his ears the same colour. What do you think, people? darker one in for that. Inside that ear, back to our dark violet white. Alright, let's talk about his horns. I think I'm going to do his horns in like a peach, pastel peach and a salmon pink. Yeah, let's do that. Same for these little horns. Pastel peach and salmon pink. And I think I'm going to give him salmon pink eyebrows. See what happens if I mix that dark violet white as a shadow sort of vibe. Right, I'm going with the pastel peach for his teeth. Pretty sure he doesn't do teeth whitening. Actually, I'm quite liking the way that shadows things up, so I'm going to shadow around his eyes a bit. Lovely, wow. Let's look at those beautiful wings and these dots. You know what? I think I might bring in some sort of greenish, greenish. Turquoise blue and mint green light. Just to go somewhere else. So the turquoise blue's got a little bit of a green in it, a little bit of aqua sort of vibe. And I'm gonna get to the mint green light in towards the body, blend it out. Oh, I'd like savagely different green, just a whole different play on these colours. Maybe I should have done his teeth green. I'm going to take that mint green light and play with this toothpaste and try and get a stripy toothpaste. And I'm going to get my this dark violet. What colour was that? Can I even remember? One that dropped off the table, no doubt. Light violet. I'm hoping to leave like a white stripe. And I'm thinking this toothbrush should be that colour as well. But maybe the bristles should be not an expected colour. Maybe they should be a creamy colour. Alright, I love mixing. Like we've used these two colours for the horns. I'm going to also use them for this basin. Just because I've got a whole heap of colours here and I want to mix every colour I've got into the pot. Get a little bit out of hand. Alright, let's look at those taps. We've got a cool grey 038 and a cool grey 042. I'm just going to just play with that plumbing. Oh, now I'm going to do the toothpaste bits. All right, I'm going to go off the script a little bit here, guys, and just add in some more lines. I'm thinking this should be, I should have a label or something, and then maybe stripes. And then I'm going to use these two colours that are in there, the mint green and white violet. There you go. It's a toffee apple toothpaste. <laughs> Bag's not using that. All right. 
Let's look at his slippers. What colour slippers would a monster wear? Maybe a brown, grey and walnut. Nice, oh, sort of old school with brick brown. Brown, grey or walnut. Let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, that sort of looks good. What I might do is leave that to dry for a bit and then come back in with the walnut and maybe do a little pattern on there. Right, I think we need more. I'm colouring this in at the end of October and uh, my neighbours have started decorating Halloween decorations on their houses so I think I'm going to go there with this. I think we need to put in maybe a spider. I don't encourage people to uh, go off Add stuff into the illustrations that you think should be there. Why not? Well, we've got a little spider. Probably need a bit of a web too. Let's put him on a web. Somehow we'll play with that there. You've got to go talk about the background. And up here, I'm going to do a bat. What do you think? A bit, of bat, a bit of bat action, a bit of spider action. If you are going to add things in, then I suggest you use a pen like this, which is water fast. Because if you use the wrong sort of pen, which is water soluble, then when you go to use your markers, it's going to smudge and blur. Which isn't what you want, it's not ideal. There we go, a little bat. I remember I put a big spider in one of my books. I can't remember which one. But there was a big reaction. A lot of people were um, questioning why I would do such a thing. <laughs> people coloring in for stress, stress relief didn't find relief with spiders to colour, I think was the argument. And yet here I am again, drawing a spider. I didn't put it into the original illustration, but I'm adding it, so. We'll give him six eyes. Hey? All right, I'm gonna use, a, what's this? Cool gray, it's very dark cool gray. Freaked out with those dark colours. I might start out with a lighter cool grey and then come back in with the darker for the bat at least. And base this little spider with the grey and then bring some of that, maybe some of that violet in. Do the same with this guy. Add a bit of colour in. A bit of a toxic fluoro red back hanging from the ceiling. Alright, I'm just thinking what I'm going to do with this background. Do I need to colour it? I think I might. I've also missed a bit there. Mm. Oh, I'm thinking I've got these two blue greys. Blue grey 170, blue grey 1069. Maybe we have a dark He's in the dark. Do monsters even need light to clean their teeth? Maybe not. I'm going to go from the top. Let's go from the top. All right, this could ruin everything, but hey, we're going to give it a whirl, see what happens. That's blue gray, but it's coming out almost as black, so a little darker than I'd hoped. But we're committed, so let's go. Let's sort of take it down to about here. Bring in our lighter blue grey. Now I might just try to blend that out at the bottom with a cool grey, maybe a lighter cool grey, see how that goes. I can always abandon. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? I'm just going to keep going with the blue grey.
And here's the downfall of drawing spiders in the corner of your you got to cut around them. All right, now let's... I think we need to go with the dark on top. I'm just going to come back in with the cool grey 042 and uh, apply some shadowing. Ooh, I'll just add in some texture. Got my fresh blue. Because he's, he may have dental hygiene, people, but does he have any other form of hygiene? Maybe not. I don't want to throw disparaging remarks about monsters about. Oh, there'll be just a few spots. All right, let's grab our walnut and see what happens if we... Brown on brown sort of tartan fabric for slippers. Old school slippers. Nice. I'm going to add some of that into here as a bit of shadow as well. And then I'm just going to bring some of that white grey into shadow some of those eyes. Lovely now, I think. I'm going to bring in my Posca. Just going to make it work. Convince it that it's allowed to work. Come on, little Posca. All right, let's talk spider web. I even add in these little hairs that I lost. I might highlight the top of his lip just for fun and maybe some spotting on his teeth. I had some texture in that background. I might also highlight the bat. He seems to have got lost in his dark background. So I think we should call that complete. There he is, you know, at the sink, taking care of his teeth, dental hygiene. Not sure what this guy's name should be. I wonder if he brushes his wands as well as his teeth. I don't know how monsters work. I can only imagine. Well, I really appreciate you guys coloring along with me. I um, hope that you enjoyed coloring in dental hygiene with me. Make sure you download your own PDF pack of the monsters and get colouring along with me. It's a good time of year to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I shall see you in another video. See you later, guys.